Hey friends, last year I did a video on how to self-host NA10 on Ethner server because it is the best quality price option, but it's still a bit complicated. So now I've discovered the easiest way while continuing using Ethner. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to open an account on Ethner and configure it with the proper SSH keys, how to install EasyPanel on Ethner and how to install NA10 and other applications on easy panels and then how to update NA10 and all the necessary stuff that you need to have everything working. So let's dive in. Well, first let's set up Etzner and the SSH key. And for that, I have inserted a part of my previous video. So let's watch this. So first we need to sign in your sign up in Etzner.com. So for that, I go to login and cloud. And here, okay, in my case, I log in, but if you don't have an account, you go here, register now. So I'm going to log in. Okay. And here we need to create a project. If you begin, you just will have a button, create a project. In my case, I already have mine NA10 and for wise installed here. So here I click on create new project and I name it demo N8N. Okay. And add project. Now I need to create a server and here I choose my location. So let's say we are in the US, even if I'm in Europe, let's say I have clients in the US and I create another server here. And here in image, I go to apps and I choose Docker. So we will have Docker pre-installed in, in our server. On type, I choose this one and here's the first one. It's enough for what we have now. So here, five euro forty three a month. So a little bit more than five dollars, but it's very cheap. Then I recommend to have the backups. And now we need to create an SSH key. So for that, we need to open the terminal. So I have my sheet sheet here. So now we are in my sheet sheet, which is also useful for me. And we need to open the terminal. So I explain how to do it on Mac and on Windows if I don't use Windows, but okay. And you can also use apps like VARP and Eper. So I use VARP where you can type in natural language. Okay. So to create the, the key, we use this command. In my case, I need to, to create it in another location because I already have this key. So in my case, I'm going to type SSH K again. So this is the base command. And in my case, so as I want to have it with another name, so here it's to enter in SSH and I name it demo key. But in your case, you just have to type that normally. Okay. Okay. We don't need a passphrase. Okay. And this is done. Now we need to show this public key. So. We use cat, which means concatenate and we go. So look, let me show you. So if we enter here, so CD, we change directory okay? and we type LS, we are going to see our keys. Okay. So you see that I have created these keys and this is a public key. This is what we need to paste into Etzner and this is my, my key. So now to show this key, we need to type cat and in my case, SSH demo key pub. But in your case, if we just create the default uh, name, you will type that. Okay. So here is it. And now we need to copy all that. Okay. So until here, because then as you can see after this is my, my terminal. So I copy this and I go back to Edsner and here I add the SSH key and I name it demo key. Okay. And I set it as default key. That's not uh, mandatory and add SSH key. Okay. This is done. So now I, I click here, create and by now. So this will be charged at the end of the month, not now. One important thing also 
to mention when you create your Ethner account. Sometimes they ask you a document to identify immediately, but most of the time not. But you will receive an email to send your documents. And I say that because I didn't saw it. And so my server was blocked. So check your emails and upload your ID because if not, they will block your account until you, you upload it. And then I was upset, <laughs> but it's just something good, good to know. Okay. Let's continue. So after that, okay. So now we have our server, we have the backups, we have everything. Now we need to go to, to set up our subdomain. So first for that, we need to copy the public IP here. We have created our server and we copy this. I'm Alexandra Spalato, an AL full stack engineer dedicated to help businesses to streamline their operations. So if you need my help, please book a free strategy call in the link uh, below. And I will help you to implement all that and to explore your business, to find the bottlenecks and improve everything. Now we need to enter the server. So from the terminal here, I use VARP as terminal. I type SSH root and the IP that we have copied before. And I enter here. So now we are inside the server and what is really nice in VARP and I can register this as a workflow. So I put save as workflow and I name it easy panel server. And let's say as alias, I put easy, for example, and I create it. Okay. So the workflow is saved. So now if I go to another tab and I type easy, okay, you see. And now we log into the, the server. Now we are inside the server and we want to install easy panel on it. So we just copy this command and we go back to our terminal and we paste this. And now it's installing. So Docker is already installed because we choose the application with Docker. And now we wait a bit and everything will be installed very soon. Okay, so now it's installed and we just have to click here and we access our easy panel. And now we enter an email and password and click on setup. Okay, let's say Google here and setup. Okay, and now we are already on our dashboard. We want to set up a custom domain. So for that, we go to settings and to general. So the default domain is that, and we want a custom domain. So we go to Namecheap and we go inside our domain list and to advanced DNS. And now we record a new A record and as, and we call it, for example, like that. And here we paste our IP address and we save. And now we go back to easy panel and here we put zs.cutzi.com and we save. Okay. And now this should work. And that's it. And we're in. And now we want to install NA10 and other application if necessary. So. Easy panel can be used for totally free. You can use free project, but inside each project, you can put as many applications as you want. So for example, here I create a project. Okay. I create, and now I want a service and I search and you see there is tons of things here that we can install. Okay. And here I type. NA10, I go there and, and here, yes, we put latest. Okay. And we create, we go to project and now it's installing. So we have to wait a bit again. Okay. So now NA10 is installed. So if we click here. We have access to NA10 
and we create our account and we're good to go. So you see how easy it is. Uh, now, if you need to make an update, you simply click on deploy. Here in source, you see we have the Docker image. So if, for example, there is a version that has new features, a beta version or something, you can write it here and deploy and then come back to latest when, when you need. So as you can see, this is really the easier way to self-host, in my opinion. And you can also install many more applications. So if we go here and inside our project and create a new service and we want, for example, Flowwise, we have to create the account and then to install it, but it's exactly as simple as for NA10. Another nice thing that I really like, if we go here to the dashboard, we see exactly what we are using in our server. So in Edsner, for example, you can rescale the server if you need more space, more memory, etc. So here we we know exactly what we what we have to do so this is really nice and easy so i hope you like it and and that you will use it because nobody knows about that and i learned it lastly so i really wanted to share it so if you need my help please book a free strategy call in the link below and if you like my content and to please the youtube algorithm and to help me to produce more please subscribe like, comment, etc. And see you next week for new tutorials. Bye.